Welcome back guys, it's Preet's coming back to the brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today we are back with the Eden Shriek going for win number 294 in a row. I cannot remember the number. I think I said 92 yesterday. Something like that. Anyways, let's get right into the run. Get some gaming going on. Have some fun as Eden on hard mode. Let's get some gaming going. Let me make sure I'm in the right spot. So today we start off with Scapular, Pause, uh, Above Average Tier 8, Below Average Damage. The seed is Yow38QY. And this will be an interesting run. I don't expect this to be really, really insane off the get-go because our stats are pretty dog water. But having Pause could be okay. If we could get some sort of item like Pointy Rib, Mom's Knife, something that allows us to actually like utilize Pause, we'll be fine. But without that, it's not like we have anything crazy. One of the big issues we run into right now is the fact that we start off with two soul hearts of health and two soul hearts of health equals bad times because if we lose health, it's gone. Finito. All donezo, balonzo. You guys like my rhymes? There's, I have a friend who all they do is just try to rhyme stuff together. I, I, I mean, I feel like a lot of people do that, but there's some bad rhymes that get created. I like just roasting them back in rhymes. That's how, that's how you gotta do it. You're dummy wummy. Shuddy wuppy. That's not even a good one. Anyways, how's everybody doing today? Hope you guys are doing good. Hopefully this run goes well. Tier 8 up in the beginning is always good. But yeah, I am tired. So tired. Um, I, I went to work today. It was a fine day at work, but for some reason, at the end of work, I like I looked over at like the station like our computer station area where we have like the laptop and all like we put the binders that need to be updated. So like that, that need like new pages in them. So I look over there and this one one of my coworkers, this high school girl, had done like had done a couple binders. And I was really confused because I'm like, okay, she left two binders over there. I'm like, I don't know why. So then I go over to sit down to like do the binders. I open up the first binder. I start updating it. There's like, it only needs like two more sections and that's all. My manager comes over and is like, hey, this one needs updating right here. Uh, or this one has a, a, an ass assessment. And assessments are rough because we have to grade the assessment, go like put it in the computer, like print off a bunch of stuff, then print off five new sections. And so like, it's a, it's a, it's a fair amount of work. It's a, it's, it's a, it's kind of a doozy. If I have a bad day is when I get like two, one or two of the assessments I have to do. I mean, I hate just assessments in general are the worst. So I'm like, okay, one assessment's not too bad. And then I finally get to um, the binders that the, my coworker had left. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, she must've just like needed to leave or something. Cause she left pretty quick. Like after she had done a couple of binders. So I was just like, she probably just needed to leave. That's probably all. I pick up the binders. I look in the first one, I'm like, Oh gosh, there's an assessment in this one. I'm like, this is the this is actually the worst. So I'm like, okay, I'll do that one last. Wait, I'm like, oh man, I have that other assessment my manager gave me. I'm like, okay, I'll do both of those after this next one. I open up the next one, and I don't know why I didn't expect it, but it was also an assessment. So I had to grade three assessments, which I mean doesn't take long. Grading an assessment maybe takes like a couple minutes. We have all the answers. Like it's either right or wrong, and half the time the kids are like completely wrong. So it's not it's not a hard time to grade. But it takes time. Plus, we have to print out like their new learning plan, print out the chart of like how they did. Then we have to print out five sections, which is usually like 50 sheets of paper, which is just destroying the environment one step at a time. And it's just, it's just not a fun time. And so I was at work until 8:55. When I usually get out, like on a good day, I'm out at 8:15. Like that's what I'm scheduled till. And like we we stop having kids at like at eight. Now all the high schoolers, they usually leave at like eight-ish. They leave like as soon as they're done, they clean up their tables, they clean up a little bit, they leave. But the way it works is myself and my coworker Jason, since we're like the, I don't know, it's not because we're the upper level, I don't know what it is. We're both like, we're both older, we're both like co college slash post-college, we're the same age. And like we just, he does the email, like a bunch of emails, which I don't know why, why he has to do. I'm very confused why he has to do emails, because that's like not our job. But anyways, he does emails, I do printing, and usually we get out, like, 8.25 is probably, like, a normal time for me to get out. But, like, today, getting out at 8.55 was atrocious. It was so bad. I just, I was very sad. Very, very sad. But, I mean, it's what you gotta do sometimes. It's it's the job. The thing is, I do get paid for that all that extra time, so I don't mind. It's just I do not, I do dislike getting home at, like, 8.30. Or not 8.30, 9.30. It's just a gross time to get home. 
And oh my gosh, where in the world is this secret room? I'm just going to blow up every little tiny wall until we get it. And that worked out. Okay, so we don't have too many keys. We don't have too many bombs. That was actually like the worst secret room ever. There's, there's not anything super good in here. I am going to pick up this. I'm going to try to keep donating money today. I think that's the play. Try to get that back up to like the 200 area and then start like actually like blowing it up and donating, blowing it up and donating. Cause I've just been blowing it up like crazy recently, which I mean, it's not a bad strat, but it's not a great strat. Okay. We'll go alt path. Cause alt path is just the better path. Regret on pedestal mod is one of the most, I think it's one of the, the best worst mods ever. So if you guys don't know, whenever I pick up an item on the alt path, I get to see what the other item was. Um, and so, Basically, I get to see what I missed out on, which you don't normally get to see. But with the Regret Item Pedestal mod, you do. And it's one of the most painful things when you miss something that's just actually really good. And it's really sad because it also works on Curse of the Blind. Um, it only works on Curse of the Blind whenever you have a double item room in like one of the special or one of the uh, the new floors, the alt floors. It's rough. You guys will see what I'm talking about. But yeah, work was just long. Work is just so boring sometimes. I like. One of the mo one of the things that makes me just like want to die inside is whenever I get a student who is like elementary school. Now I have nothing against elementary schoolers. It's just I am not somebody who wants to work with elementary schoolers, like at all. I like it, there's it's nothing wrong with the elementary schoolers themselves. It's like the curriculum they're on is just so like mind-numbingly boring because it's like okay, you have five five you, you buy five apples for four, two quarters. How many quarters does 10 apples cost? And they're like three. I'm like, I don't even understand. Like, how do you get this wrong? They literally have an entire graph that literally just tells you the answer to the question. You still got it wrong. And I'm just like, this makes me sad. Now, some kids are really smart, but like even, no matter what, even if it's the smart kids who are doing like really well, who like on like the fourth grade or fifth grade criteria, it's awful. Even like sixth graders aren't even fun to work with. Like, or 6th graders, 7th graders, 8th graders, like, it's mainly, they're like our main people we work with, but like, I want the kids who are doing the hard stuff. The stuff that I actually like, have to like, do myself as well to check the answer, and like, it's fun to work with, because I can actually like, there's substance to teach. It's not like you're teaching like, <laughs> I'm gonna say math theory, because like, trying to teach additions like, okay, how do, how do you describe addition to somebody? Who knows? But anyways... Uh, got some good comments in the video today. I was actually really excited to read the comments. Today is um, Tuesday uh, for anybody who is wondering. Um, for you guys, I think it's Saturday right now. Happy, happy, ha merry weekend. I don't even know. Today should be December 3rd, I believe. But yeah, I, this is the Tuesday video. And I was reading all the comments on like the soda video. Not many people were talking about the soda tier list, which I was kind of sad about. But this one German guy was like, Hey, from Germany, glad to see an Alm Doodler supporter. Now, this is not exactly the word by word what he said. I kind of forgot exactly what he said. Um, but he's like, have you ever heard of... It's like S-P-I-E-Z, I think is what the name of the drink was. Spites? Spies? Spies? I have not. It looks good. It's like an orange Coke, I think is what he described it as. Sounds pretty interesting. Also, I didn't realize I knew where the boss room was also i gotta blow this up we can donate money a different day you know what i mean we can get a bunch of bombs nice okay that did drop a pill that's gonna be good for us luck up is nice and you know what verp is sick and gives us a tira's up a tira's up uh okay that's good um i don't know where the super secret room is i know it's not like anywhere close to me right now but this is fine the Soul of Polyon's actually not too bad. I am going to go for Angel Deals today, I believe. Since I got that damage up right there, our damage is actually not too shabby. And I thought we were on draws too. Okay, we're fine. We'll go next floor. Everything's going actually pretty decent now. If I didn't get a damage up right there, I probably would have gone to the Devil Deal. It's so like just getting that damage up made it so we actually have like good stats. We have about a 20 DPS right now. Or, uh, yeah, our DPS is about 20, which is good. Not, it's not a bad DPS. It's not great. This also increased our DPS a little bit. Steven would have been kind of fun. Not like we really needed him. But we'll see what happens. I am just going to use this so I can blow up this wall. And nothing. Okay, that's fine. 
Oh, look, we got that. Let's go check in here. I think the secret room might be off of this wall. This room just feels like a secret roomy wall. Yeah. This it felt secret roomy. Also, am I not clicked on to Binding of Isaac? I am. Okay, Curse of the Tower is pretty good. I'm gonna go to the big room and use this real quick. Now this is reverse Curse of the Tower, which makes it so rocks appear. So it's like reverse explosions, which is kind of cool. What's nice about it is that it makes a lot of um, a lot of tinted rocks usually. You'll usually get like at least like one tinted rock, especially if you use it use it in a bigger room, and it makes eight or not say eight, six clusters of rocks. So I will show you. So like look at that, literally four tinted rocks, and I'm gonna blow this up in a much smarter pattern. I'm gonna come over here. That way I can blow it up. I think this is gonna reach. It's not exactly reaching, and this might might be the worst bomb ever or the best. Turn out to be not good, not terrible. And small rock is actually huge. Just a good damage up, a good tier eight up. It is a speed down, which kind of is not detrimental or anything to the to our run, but doesn't help us out. Like doesn't help having 0.7 speed. 0.7 speed is really, really slow. It's pretty, it's pretty dang rough. I'm gonna be straight up. And I haven't gone to the cursor room yet. Might as well go in there since I have enough, like a bunch of health. But we do have almost max tier eight. Almost six damage, so we're now already at like 30. Jeez, 30 G, G, 30 GPS. Um, this is gonna give us back one red heart, so we actually just don't lose any health, which is kind of cool. Wait, I don't know why it says give us gives us back one red heart. It makes us not lose any red heart since we only have one red heart of health. If you guys don't know, Dead Cat makes it so if you are a red heart character, you go down to one red heart of health no matter what. If you're a soul heart character, you go down to one soul heart of health no matter what. So be very careful. Don't do anything dumb. This is a real thing, I gotta say. Uh, I'm gonna do this real quick. That is hive mind. I'm not gonna cheat though. I know some people are like, it's not cheating if you do that strat where you pause and like exit the game to keep a store item in there. I know it's not cheating, but I just don't care about it. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I don't wanna cheat move. And hive mind, is it good? Yes. Am I gonna get guppy this run? Most likely no. Why? Because I'm not going for devil deals. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Why not? Let's just get some damage going. That way we can actually just kill the dumb enemy faster. And look at that. We got one apple shot that just hit the boss and just did crazy damage. We'll take it. And Glyph of Balance is not bad. Glyph of Balance is definitely not like my favorite item ever to get in the entire universe, but it is pretty nice because it's it just means that you're never gonna like not have keys you're never gonna not have bombs you're always gonna have you're gonna have a good amount of consumables of every kind you're gonna be pretty even on everything which we do enjoy we like having enough keys to like play the game i am gonna go grab that in a second and this is good nice very sick nasty. Also, do they add something to the uh, the key? Is it, I didn't realize, I didn't read it, but it says like something like a 0.2% chance to get like an eternal heart. Has that always been a thing? Am I dumb? I might be. Don't answer that question. But yeah, today, today was just, today has been okay. I was just staying up way too late, just playing Pokemon. Pokemon consumes everything. It's such a good game. Like, it's so bad, but it's also so good. My brother recently started playing it. So tonight when I got home from work, the reason why I'm recording like this so late, it's already midnight, um, is because he, he got, like when I got home from work, I ate dinner and then uh, me and him went into like uh, the co-op world. We're just playing together for a second. Now he's only played for like an hour. So he was only at like the first like pokey station, whatever you call it. It's not a pokey center. I don't think that's what, I, I feel like it should be called a pokey station. Because Poke Center doesn't even make any sense. It's not a center. It's a station. Okay, please be the secret room. Thank you. And health is fine. I guess. Also, I, I think the penny items are some of the best items in the entire game. Or best trinkets in the entire game. As, as far as, like, consumable trinkets come. Because whenever you pick up, like, matchstick, it makes it so you're less likely to get any other pickup. And you're more likely to get just bombs. Which is not good. But the the penny trinkets are insane because you get a penny, you have a chance to get a more valuable consumable every time you pick up like a penny. It's like right here, look at that. I get a bomb. Bombs are pretty rare. Now, of course, we are going to take Scorpio, but I know for a fact I'm going to regret this. I'm not going to regret it. Let's go. 
The reason I was like, maybe I'll regret it is because it's going to be a better item on the other one. I swear when there's like a pretty good item on the visible pedestal, the other pedestal is just always just insane. It wasn't right there, so you know what? I'm fine. But it's always a scary thought. I got FOMO. Don't want to miss out on any really good items. Like the other day, I mean, we haven't seen anything too crazy. We missed, um, it was a couple, it was a while ago. So I think I'm going to do this. I'm definitely going to do this. Alabaster Box is actually insane. So why is Alabaster Box insane? Because if I go to one soul or one soul heart of health, we just get like every room is going to give us a soul heart and we just get free Alabaster Box. I don't know what I was talking about. I was saying something. Oh yeah, we missed a C-section like probably like 40 runs ago <laughs> or something dumb like that. Literally not recent whatsoever, but that was probably the last time we missed something like really really big we probably missed other really big stuff i don't know i kind of like keep it like push push it out of my mind but I just, whenever you miss c-section on an item pedestal it it stings a little bit i should try to save up for our our favorite item king baby because king baby is actually good now the thing is i don't really have any other familiars but king baby is actually pretty good now now that it makes it so your your little guys actually shoot diagonally at enemies sweet i will take you only if only i had hive mind then we could be op as heck okay, get me out of here and we are actually so strong right now this early on in the game and we don't even have like any like crazy damage ups it's just that we have like we have poison which is really good and we have a pretty high tier rate which is good and we have trick-or-treat which just adds a like a 3.2 times damage shot right or is it four times i think trick-or-treat's a four times I can never remember anything, I'm going to be honest. Okay, good. I just need a little bit more money for King Baby. Because I do want King Baby. King Baby actually just... I mean, it's... it's King Baby and Buddy in a Box are some of my favorite store items. is because they get you towards conjoined. There's not really any other... I don't think there's any more other, tran other transformation items in the shop. Other than, like, for Beezlebub. I guess that is a pretty big transformation. Not really, though. I would say that... I don't know. I don't know what transformations are good. Good, thank you. Conjoins just actually like affects your game a lot. Oh my gosh. Let's just take damage from every little thing in this game. Also, you guys are uh, watching the World Cup. I'm guessing you're watching the World Cup live. I didn't actually watch the World Cup today, but apparently uh, the U the Team USA game today was pretty dang good. I mean, because they won, so that's cool. Now, sorry if I just spoiled the entire World Cup for you, but you should be watching it live. Or else. Okay, Um, I need to go find, or I need to go buy King Baby. That's what I want to go do right now. I could also pay out Judgment, but I feel like that's going to be a waste of money. Ooh, wait a sec. I'm going to do something quite dumb. Now, why am I doing this? Because I want soul hearts. So badly. Is this the right thing to do? Probably not. If I'm being honest, probably not. But we'll we'll survive. We'll be okay. I just need to go clear some rooms and we'll get soul hearts. And they're going to fill up our, uh, our, our alabaster box. And we're going to thrive and survive. It's going to be great. Okay. We already found secret room. We already have a decent amount of health. I kind of wish I didn't have this yuck heart, but we're fine having it. I just, mm, uh, I don't know how much longer this floor is going to be, but we, we're strong. We're very strong. I'm not worried. You're worried. I'm worried. You caught me. Give me a soul heart. I think it is going to give me a soul heart. I just have to make sure not to pick up the soul heart at the end of the room. This might have not been the best idea. I actually have such a bad setup for picking up soul hearts or trying to pick up soul hearts. I guess I have less money than soul hearts, technically. I don't really know how it works, but apparently that's how this works. Okay, good. Shoot the butt. We'll be fine. You guys know in Finding Nemo how they call the, the boat the butt? I never really understood that, but go touch the butt. Did they, like, did they hear somebody mispronounce the word boat? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. 
Can, we, can you get poisoned and die, please? You're actually, like, survi surviving. Surviving really hard. Also, what's cool is no matter what, I will not ever be at, like, a high amount of soul hearts. So, guaranteed, I will pick up soul hearts. It doesn't matter if I pick up soul hearts. Actually, does it matter if I pick up soul hearts? Ooh, wait a sec. I don't know how this works. The more I think about it, the more confused I am. How did you not pop up? Pop off, queen. Pop off. Okay, that's not a soul heart. I'm starting to get quite concerned about my soul heart health. I'm not going to use any keys right now. I need my soul hearts. Pronto. And it did give me my black heart, like... IRL. Like, it didn't, like, put my my black heart in alabaster box. Did it actually go in alabaster box? I think it did. Ooh, that's sick. You know what? I'm going to leave that on the ground for right now. I know that might be, like, a stupid-sounding idea, but I think it's the right move. I think it was pushed the bomb towards me and killed me. That was just dumb on my part. I want to pay that guy out as well at some point. We'll probably do that. Get you out of here. And man, I just want to go to the movie theater so bad. Like, I just have had the... The want. Ooh. Okay. All the milk time. All milk's pretty cool. All, like, whenever you have a luck-based tier effect, like Trick or Treat, you always want. And I mean, always want something like all milk or soy milk. Now, I prefer soy milk. Just completely prefer soy, soy milk. I swear I've not gotten soy milk in forever. Maybe it's rarer than almond milk. I think almond milk give, gives you, like, slightly less bad slash also good stats. I don't know how any of this works. So where are my soul hearts? My whole plan of having Glyph of Balance to give me soul hearts has not, like, actually done me any good. Like, why are we getting money still? Because I can't tell if the soul hearts that are in, like, my in my soul, in my alabaster box, are affecting my chances. Also, I'm just bombing everything. We have so many bombs, we should not be getting bombs as drops. So, I should be fine to do this. Okay. Ooh, money is good. Because we want anything other than money for our drops right this second. I wish King Baby at least, like, shot. You know, maybe, like, a little tiny baby shot. But a shot nonetheless. Oh, there we go. There's a soul heart. And you might be like, why are you not picking up soul hearts? I just think it's a smarter move to not pick them up right this second. Oh. Okay, maybe it's the smarter move to pick them up right this second. Well, we'll take the red heart. I don't really want to lose my deal chance, but... Hey. If we lose our deal, we lose our deal. And how many soul hearts do we have on the floor? A good amount? I think that's actually enough soul hearts. Yeah, that's enough soul hearts. Okay, sick. Now, good news is, when we use Alabaster Box, we actually get some soul hearts. So, we'll be pretty good. And we still have a pretty good uh, angel deal chance. We are at a 60... A 73.5% chance? Is that what it is? I don't know. I'm supposed to be able to do math, and I hate doing math. Ooh, yuck. Math is like, uh, some, what's weird is like, I do so much math, but then like the most basic stuff I just will not do in my head. You know what? I respect it, game. I'll take Genesis as far as I can take it. But look at that. 20 tier rate ain't too shabby. If you're asking me, which nobody I think is, I think it's quite fantastic. So I do like the uh, Eternal Heart we got. Makes me happy. And some Soul Heart health. Now, I should be, like, waiting to pick up Soul Heart Health to get even more or something, but you gotta realize that's too much metagaming. That's too that's too much. I can't do that right now. I gotta pick stuff up pronto, or else I'll die. Now, I'm watching. I'm gonna even make my chance of getting Soul Hearts even lower. Why Black Bean? I hate Black Bean with a passion, honestly. Black Bean just makes me so sad. Oh, man. I kind of gotta sneeze. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the uh, the big Charizard raids coming up in um in the in the new brand new hit game Pokemon, because Charizard is not actually available in the Pal Paldea area. Okay, this guy is not paying out. This guy is actually pissing me off. That's crazy. You know what? I'm okay now. Did they change Black Bean? I swear they did. Black Bean. I don't know why I said it like. I mean, I know why I said it like that. At 
second ago, but I don't I don't know if I like it. I feel like they had to change it. It's so much more farty than it used to be. I don't know. Now my biggest concern is getting sick on the way to Disney. Now I've I've already been like sick like 14 million times in the past not too long. So I'm not too concerned, but there's always the concern of like, I want to feel good while I'm on vacation. So let's not get sick. That's that's the objective. That's our goal right now. And what can I get on this glorious run that we're on today because of Genesis? Can we get something crazy? We might do the infamous cathedral skip. Now this is a, 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 a tactic that you don't see too often in the major league crowd of Binding of Isaac. You only see it by the most promising of of speedrunners, AKA myself, and that's about it. Now, what is the Cathedral Skip? Well, I, there's no, no such real thing as the Cathedral Skip, but if you use Genesis on Cathedral, you just skip to chest, if you guys didn't know. Or if you use it on uh, Womb 2, you skip to Cathedral. The more you know, I think it lets you skip floors no matter what, right? Hey, yo, hey, the ham hocks are kind of gross. Now, what sucks about almond milk is I don't think you get the same knockback you do with soy milk, which is like, what's what's so good about soy milk? And you know what? I don't hate it. I don't love it either. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a buck. But I don't I don't hate it. Can you shoot at me, please, fires? That way you can just like no longer have to worry about just getting absolutely beamed by you. So you guys, this, okay, I do not have enough movement speed for this. This angel's like tickling me at all times. Tantalizing tickles from the tyrannical theological angel. I was trying to see how many T words I could say. Okay. Gabriel's such a rough fight. I can do it. I mean, you can see I can do it pretty easily, but it scares me. So you get more eternal hearts. Has that always been a thing? Am I just now realizing that's a thing? Am I dumb for that? Maybe. And we always go this way, because why not go for an extra item room? It's a waste to not go for an extra item room. Now some people might be like, ooh, wow, scary going for going going for alt path. Anybody who's newer to the game, alt path is very scary for anybody who's new to the game. Now it's the same thing that like you start this game, it's very hard. It's very hard when you first start playing this game. If you were somebody who played After Birth Plus, After Birth Plus, After Birth Plus, and got like a million percent, the game became easy after you got a million percent. But as soon as Repents came came out, all the Repents floors are so hard. Why? Because it's new stuff. It's new enemy attack patterns that are kind of unusual. A lot of the stuff is things that we've not really seen before. Like a lot of the diagonal attacks did not exist in the past. I wish that was Verp right there. I kind of thought it was. Mom's Razor, more like, please never give it to me again. Got him. I, Mom's Razor is such a sad item. It's actually not too bad. I think they slightly buffed it in Repentance. I can't remember what they did or what was wrong with it ever, but I think there was something different. If you were wondering how I got hit right there, I think I got my tear reflected back at me. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm not paying these guys out. I, sh I could go. Do I want to? Like, I could go to the dice room. I might as well go to the dice room. Am I right or am I right? I do love Magneto. Some people don't like Magneto. I think they might have changed it, but I don't remember. It's good. It's a good item. If you don't like Magneto, you're kind of weird for it. It's just good. It opens up spike chests. It opens up all chests. Sometimes you don't want to open up chests, so it's bad. And if you get too close, it opens up chests that you don't want to open up. But listen, all that aside, it's kind of a cracked item. Opening up chests from across spikes and pulling items over rocks? That's pretty hype in my opinion. And I am not... I just... I had a feeling that there was going to be a D100 in the last ice room, so I didn't go in it. And now I regret not going in that one and going in the one I just went in. But yeah. Right now, I don't know if I've really updated too much. I have three level 100 Pokemon in Pokemon right now. It's really, really easy to get high level Pokemon. Finally got my uh, foreign ditto. Weirdly enough, I was trading with a bunch of people who were always Jap had Japanese dittos, or I I'm assuming were Japanese. 
Um, one thing I didn't realize is there's this thing. There's a screen that says caution. If you like lose like if you lose connection, um, you'll just like leave the trade. I didn't realize that was a screen that you had to hit A on in order to continue with the trade. So I'd be sitting in trades for like 10 minutes, and the other person would sit there and like back out real quick, then retry to trade me. And every single time I'm like, what gives? Why is this guy like being so weird and like not trading me? Turns out I was the issue, and I was supposed to go past that and hit A to go past that screen. But I'm like, why would I? Why would I think to hit A right here? You know? It's not common sense, right? It's probably pretty common sense. I'm gonna be honest. I, I was like, dang, this this is so stupid of me. And then finally, I ran to this German guy, and I'm kind of happy I waited so long. Cause having a German ditto is kind of hype. I didn't even realize, like, I've never even seen anything other than like Spanish and Japanese, like, so far. But of course, I mean, of course, German dittos exist. Why wouldn't they? Is the real question. Was that worth it? I don't know. Now we have nine lives, we're really safe. There's not really much to worry about. Once we use Genesis though, we are gonna lose nine lives. We could get it back perhaps, but I don't know. Also, I'm just like, Bandage Girl is just tanking damage. I'm taking full full health damage. Wait, what the heck? I took a whole heart of damage right there. And I don't think that was even a champion, was it? Maybe just the big goat guys on contact damage do a whole heart. I think contact damage is almost always a full heart. I don't know. I don't pay attention to anything in this game. I am just the misrepresentation of all information of Binding of Isaac. Hey, sometimes... Sometimes I'm big, I dodge. That's all I'm proud of. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad. Sometimes I don't dodge is the real thing. This is one of those attacks you don't see too often. I really feel like my... I should be doing so much better when it comes to, like, damage output. I feel like that's always the case. I go to two damage, which that's better than the damage I just had and if I ever see breath of life again in my entire life I'm gonna cry I don't know why but it always always does that also that did call it holy brimstone I just looked at that it says salvation shoots out holy brimstone which is weird because I want to call it holy brimstone if it was me personally that's not the name you got to call it like holy light something like that you know holy brimstone just doesn't feel like the right Thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just feel like I'm playing so badly at all times. Okay, we take the damage up, and Ares is not the worst, but it's not something we care about too much. And I might just full send it across this universe. Should I go to the I'm gonna go to the shop. Oh my gosh. I'm just taking damage at this point. If I start like if I start going downhill fast, what I'm gonna do is just probably Genesis because that's my best bet right this second I don't really want a Genesis yeah might as well I'm, I'm gonna go do this like I feel like I should just be like it seems like we're doing so little damage as like even with like the poison that we have you know like you might be like how did you not take damage right there I'm gonna be honest that's the same thing I was thinking I don't know how I didn't take damage that's kind of crazy I feel like I really should have taken damage also there is a button in that last room that I really want to go press now these guys actually are just the best at throwing things. They never miss ever, and they're so goaded with the actual sauce. And please don't be a grocer. These guys are the. These guys are actually brutal. When they actually are slapping your tears away, they can hit your tears away, which is wild. They do a good job at it. And look at this. A tear rate up. Is that actually going to give me tear rate? Survey says absolutely not. Beautiful. I've never seen a more beautiful thing in my life. Okay, good. Good. Oh, it's a black heart. Let's go. Oh, I needed that. But yeah, also uh, in the comments, it was Bruno who was saying that maybe like while I'm gone, I should upload like short videos of me playing other games on, on my YouTube channel. Here's the, here's the thing, like also like making tier lists is that would require me having to edit. And currently like my, what's happening is I... Do I have time to edit? Like I could, I could make time to edit. I definitely could, but I'm working every day before I leave. Just, just because I was asked to work on Wednesday, which I've talked about. I hate working on Wednesdays. It actually pisses me off to work on Wednesdays. But I'm, I'm somebody who is a people pleaser, and so I will always say yes if I need if they need me to work on a Wednesday. So that's just me. I'm not gonna leave them hanging. But it makes it so I have literally zero zero days just off to prepare for vacation now did I have like the weekend off I did have the weekend off I had many days off in a row but 
I, I didn't get ready for my vacation because why would I expect that I would work on Wednesday when I'm not I, I have literally worked six Wednesdays in a row and I'm told I'm we're gonna stop working on Wednesdays because we're not supposed to work on Wednesdays I expect them to actually stand by that so I just didn't expect that so I just don't really have time to repair that kind of stuff if I play any other game I prefer to edit it I could start posting the more like Northern Lion esque content where like I just play games and just post like full 40 minute videos. The only issue with that with new games is I like to learn games a little bit before I play them. And Northern Lion, I don't know how he does it. I cannot stand, I'm gonna go shield today. I just, myself, I cannot stand whatsoever. Um, what am I trying to say? Like trying to learn a game like on stream or on video. It is like one of the most painful things ever. Now learning like a game like Hollow Knight, that's different, but learning like a roguelike was, is awful because it's not entertaining for the people watching. It seems like that's at least my experience. It seems like it's not entertaining for the people watching. Cause like you guys like watching good people play games. They still watch me. So that's, that throws my point almost out the window, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just odd. I don't I just don't know I just don't know I don't, I'm just playing new games I have so many roguelike games I literally buy like every roguelike game that comes out like the new like ship roguelike game that came out recently I don't even know what it's called bought that Soulstone survivors bought that um, the dome game bought that vampire survivors I have that I bought another game as well recently that's another like I just I buy like all these roguelikes and like I I have them ready to play now should I play them maybe but it's just I play them on my own time usually like the thing is like Binding of Isaac started out as a game that I would just play while like while watching YouTube because it was like a game that didn't require me having any friends to play with so whenever my friends weren't available I could do that and it's just isn't it's it was just easy it was very easy so yeah, uh, I'm just gonna blow this up real quick. Why not? I have so many bombs. But that's what roguelikes are for me. I, I don't think that roguelikes are the most entertaining videos on the interwebs. I think that they're honestly quite, of, of video games, they're on the more boring side. But I mean, Binding of Isaac, they hold a special place in my heart. Can you not go through doors for free with that? I could have sworn you could go through doors for free. And I could use the perks pill right there, but I don't feel like using the perk pill right there. But yeah, so I could start doing the Northern Line thing, and I've like I kind of been thinking about it. Like, if I ever decide to start start like doing higher quality content, but continuing doing the Eden Streak as well as higher quality content, then I feel like I would almost want to make a second channel. And I honestly despise second channels. I kind of, I mean, I really don't like second channels. I think second channels are just weird, but like, I would, I would do it. If people still wanted an Eden Streak, if I decided to like, not po post Eden Streaks on my main channel, on the one, this channel right here, maybe I would start doing them on a second channel. Now, would that probably just end up in like, a lot less people watching Eden Streaks? I mean, probably. That's probably what would happen, but I don't know. And people might be like, wait, you're stopping the Eden Streaks? No, that's not like the plan right now. It's just like a theoretical of like, if I ever decide to stop doing it, I would like maybe do like a second channel. And if I ever did do a second channel, I might start doing like the, just record an hour of me playing some rogue, random roguelike and upload it. If I start doing that, I could upload three times a day, 40 minute, 40 minute videos and just go absolutely crazy. Do I want to do that? Not really. I could, but if I really got back into YouTube, it'd be so easy to do that. Record three videos a day of like three different games. And then also like start like edit videos and have like three edited videos a week. Could go pretty hard. Nobody can lie. Um, purgatory more like I'm in purgatory by getting all these bad items. And I'm gonna be very careful with what, how I use Genesis. I'm gonna wait to use it on dark room. And I am going shield. Like don't worry, I'm going shield. I'm being I'm paying attention. I'm being smart about how I'm playing my video game right now. But ooh, another library is sick. I, I actually like I always almost clown on the mind when I get it, but the mind is so good. It is actually so nice to have. Just like full vision of everything. I mean just mapping in general is nice. The thing is I'd rather get like compass or something instead of having to go through the trouble of using mind. 
I don't know. I just mine or not go through the trouble of using mine. Like I, I would rather get a different angel item. That's pretty much all I'm saying. There's better. There's easier mapping to get. That does not require me to lose an angel or lose out on a really good angel item. That's my story. Okay. Oh, man. I'm just tired. I, I like, I didn't sleep a lot last night, mainly because, you know, playing video games. But the thing is, like, it's one of those things where I, I wasn't tired, and I was just like, okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to go to sleep right this second if I try to. See, let's just play video games. Which is a bad way to play it. That's a bad way to play, play the game of, am I going to get good sleep tonight by just playing video games? Of course I'm not going to go to sleep if I'm playing video games. Because for me, it's always... Oh, I gotta do one more thing. Just one more thing I gotta do, then I can finish playing. So last night I was just playing so much Pokemon that I'm like, ooh, let me try like, let me try trading for um, Masada Method Ditto. And I'm like, okay, that didn't work. So let me try doing like doing some Terror Raids. Then I'm like, ooh, let me try doing the thing where I change my clock so I get more Terror Raids. So I started playing a bunch of Terror Raids and getting a bunch of like pretty good Pokemon. I was like, okay, let me actually go try to. I just was nonstop doing a bunch of stuff. But hey, I am so close to completing my Pokedex. I am so hyped to do that. Because the only reason why I've been driven to do the, the Pokedex is because I found my first shiny. And I'm like, I want to get more shinies. Because I've never like really gotten shinies in games before. And so I was like, okay, I want to get, I want to start doing shinies. And so then I like, I was like doing like the research on how to do shinies better and like how to shiny hunt. That's like, the, your chances are pretty high if you just like do like the picnic strat without breaks or if you do like the um, Masada method, but no matter what, you need the shiny charm to have the highest percent chance. And I'm like, oh, like that means I have to do the shiny charm, which means I have to get every Pokemon in the Pokedex. But it's driving me to play the game. And it's honestly such a fun game. I've never played a Poke. I mean, I kind of played Legends of Arceus like this, where I like try to full complete as much stuff as I possibly could. But I never completed the Pokedex in Legends of Arceus. It would be pretty easy to do so. I've never done it. I do want to go back and catch Arceus in Legends of Arceus. Maybe try to shiny hunt him as well. That'd be cool. I know it's pretty, it's like kind of tedious to do that. I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm going to be honest. Nice. That was a good room. Good soup. Let's see. Are there any good movies coming out? I know there's the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special coming out soon. I don't know what to expect about that. Like, is it a, is it like a, it's like a 45 minute like movie quality thing or is it like is it like a tv quality thing like what is it who are you i'm just gonna use perks i know this is like such a weird time to use it but i'm scared for my life i just want to be able to use i want to make sure i can use genesis next war and not die now i don't expect to die right here the thing is because i i mean i have nine lives but if i die trying to do this fight right now I will continue to die forever and ever. Oh my gosh, I am so slow. How is it that I have 0.5 speed? Wait a sec. How did I get even, when did I get even slower? How did this happen? I hate this. 0.5 speed is so bad. I think one of my, like the stats that makes me like the most, like it, it, it honestly like makes my whole body like feel weird is having low speed. It makes me just feel awful. Having low tier rate, that's fine. Low damage, fine. Low anything, honestly fine. But like, the only thing that like is hard to deal with is low speed. I feel like everything's so non-reactive and just painful. But hey, we are fine. We got some extra health. We're all good. You might be like, you should have gotten picked up the red heart. Doesn't really matter. Because look at this. Okay, um, well, we're picking up all of this. There's zero reason not to. We are gonna do all of it, and then we are going to... Let me actually... I'm gonna Genesis in a second. I'm gonna wait to Genesis until I get to the secret room, just in case there is a good item in the secret room. If there is a good item in the secret room, we Genesis, we come back and get the Genesis, or we get that. And Cancer, actually insanely good. Especially with Almond Milk, especially with, like trick-or-treat our luck is so bad i don't know how like we get runs like this where we just get zero speed like no speed no luck not even like really any like real stats but we've gotten good items it's so weird it's like i know for a fact we've gotten items that are considered good in this game 
Like, we should be better off. We're at max tier 8 with all milk. We have pretty decent damage. Okay, ooh, wait a sec. I'm actually, like, struggling. Okay. Please. Nice. I'm not losing too much health. The only issue is, like, I'm not getting any chests on this floor. Or I'm probably not going to get too many chests on this floor. But yeah, we did all we were out to do. I really just want to get rid of almond milk. Almond milk is just the bane of my existence. I swear every time I get it, I just feel like I do zero damage. It's kind of kind of exactly what's happening. But we're going to use it right now and see how this goes. Okay. Golden teleporter is not bad. It's not great either. I really don't like anemic. I think we... I don't even like ghost bombs. I might as well just take anemic. Um, Athame is actually really cool now. Uh, we want the we want this. I think we want damage. Yeah, I want <coughs> I want damage. I could take another luck based tier effect. That doesn't matter too much. Uh, I'm gonna take you. Why not? Death touch is too good to pass up. Health is something that's useful. Membership card is actually useless. I'll take the pill item. Damocles is pretty cool. And I'm going to use it right now. I don't know if this is going to affect me in any good way. It does. Sweet. Okay. Well, I'm going to take Glowing Hourglass, I think. Um, I always forget that this makes items stack up really, really badly. Lacrophagy is cool. There we go. I think I want quince. I don't know if they're the actual. Please, I just want you. I'm so confused. I'll take you. Take you. I'll take bloody gust. I'm so confused what's happening right now. Um, I'll take. I think I want wafer. Can I get wafer? Please. Thank you. Can I get can I get the body now? Thank you. What's left? Let's take the speed up and see what happens. Ooh. Um I'll take Maggie's bow. And I might as well take Eden's Eden's bless Ooh, Eden's blessing sick. Yeah, that we're things are getting a little dangerous right here. There's so many items. It's just kind of scary. The more I look at things, the, the less I know and the more I'm just scared. I'll take number two because I can't see anything else. I'll take you. Take a little Brimmy. I'll just take mapping. I don't know what disappears during that. Seraphin's cool. Oh, I want a pair. Oh, nice. That's actually really fun. Swarm's good take you i don't i wish okay i'm glad i didn't miss c-section but i'm sad i missed some other stuff um oh no i touched i touched the thing that should not be touched oh tiny plant's kind of fun do i care about tiny planet probably not so this is what we do we just walk into this and hope that we get items that we want but we're going to keep on swapping out active items a bunch and not ever getting stuff we actually want. You know what? I'm going to take you first. Take you. Take you. Do I, have con I do have conjoined already, I believe. Okay, Bozo's good. Can I get conjoined? Or not conjoined. Can I get con continuum, please? And yeah, uh, Damocles inside this room is one of the most unenjoyable experiences ever. But look at this. This is the plan. We put Soul of Eden down, and we'll... Or, or, what is that? Eden's Blessing down, and we'll be fine. That's not even Eden's Blessing. What even is it? Can I please pick up Continuum? I want Continuum, please. I can't get into the inner layers. This is the issue. Is it even worth it trying to do this? 
teleport. Milk is... Okay, wait. I think I gotta enter from the top. The top seemed like the right play. Vasculitis, okay. The top is the right play. It turns out. Okay, top is the right play. Okay. The top is the right play. I know I keep saying that. Please. I know this might be annoying, but I just want Continuum. I'm going to get Continuum. Mark my words. I need it. I require it. Please. Does Continuum matter? I don't think Continuum matters at this point. It matters so much to me, though. It's like I'm fighting against the just my will to live at this point. Let me in. Data miner is not even worthwhile. If I lose Soul of Eden to this pile of junk, I'm gonna be sad. Hey, look, it's you, and it's Slip Rib. Hey, that's actually kind of nice. I forgot the chest up here are actually really good. Is that a luck up? Nice. Perks is kind of nice. Okay, you know what? I don't even care at this point. Um, pheromones, puberty, not bad. I'm just out of here. I don't need. I don't need. I don't need continuum. I don't. I don't need anything. I should be pretty fine. Um, and this is what we. The reason why we took uh, what we did. Uh, the reason why we took Eden's soul. That's what it is. Not soul of Eden, but Eden's soul. The reason we took that is because we can actually get a two secret items, which is kind of cool. Now I'm not. If I see and if I see Arky, I'm I'm sorry, guys. Arky's not happening. I am so tired right now. The reason I was so quiet right there is because my entire brain was just like, oh, got to pick up continuum, and it didn't go well. It, and my brain was just shutting down faster than I could even realize it. And then we got a pretty dangerous setup right here. I don't know what just exploded, and I just realized that we, if I take any damage, I'm like just dead. Okay, that's fine. You know what? We're fine. Have I taken any damage? I don't think I have. I hope not. I don't think there's any way I should have been able to take damage. That bomb is scary, though. Well, I took damage. I'm scared for my life now. I'm going to go as fast as I can. I only need three more charges, and then I can finish this run. Okay, that's another hit of damage. Okay. I got to go quick. Got to go quick. Go, 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 go. If I just die right here, it's going to be the saddest thing ever. Imagine. Eden Streak ends. On the time where I'm uploading it off schedule. Everything would just be so sad. Why am I taking so much damage is the real question. I don't know. I don't care. I don't want to care. I just want to get out of here. And that's my plan. Okay. Anything good? Let's go. Well, there we go. Emperor card time. Emperor card time. And that right there, I know we could have done Mega Satan, but I had Damocles. You might be like, why did we just watch you just take 14,000 items? It's because I forgot that I wasn't going to have an extra life after all of that. And so having an extra life, I would have been fine. Not having an extra life, kind of bad. But anyways, that right there is going to be win number 294 in a row. Sorry I didn't go any further. I was just too scared. Damocles is so scary. The chance of me dying right there is actually not super high. Because I would have killed Mega Saiyan really, really fast. But is it worth the risk for the Eden Streak? I'm going to say no. I don't think it really is. But that right there is going to be to win number 294 in a row. So if you guys did enjoy that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps my channel. Helps me grow. Thank you guys all for watching. And as always, it's been Preets. Peace out. Bye.